Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Starting as usual with Fascinations, there isn't anything really new on their website this week except for the placeholders for the five upcoming Rise of Skywalker Star Wars models that are coming out. Now we've kind of known there's going to be some models coming out. There was talk about it quite a while back when the 2019 catalog and it had the five placeholders already in there and there was a date set for October 4th. We've known for quite a while that October 4th is going to be the day things are revealed. We now have actual placeholders on the coming soon page but really no new information there. So it's just basically a placeholder for A, B, C, D, and E. All we can do at this point is speculate what will be coming. I think there was a little new little droid talked about a while back. I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the models coming up. I of course have spent some time looking around to see what other new toys have been previewed from other toy lines like I don't know Lego and I know there's been some Lego models announced for a Y-wing model, an A-wing model, something about a Passana speeder chase so a new kind of speeder possibly, and an ATST Raider models from Lego have been talked about. So I, I find myself wondering if any of those models or which of those models might end up being turned into a Metal Earth model. But still, no news. Check back on October 4th, which is coming up in just a few days. Actually coming up in one week. So next Friday, I should know more. There were four new models that showed up from Peace Cool earlier this week. And earlier today when I went to gather the information to talk about it, I ended up noticing that Code Wookie on his MetalEarthBuilder.com had already put together a lot of this information. Code Wookie took the time to try and translate what it says on their website. According to the Google translation, these four new models that are coming out are honoring or celebrating the 70th anniversary of New China. Not exactly sure what that means, but there are four new models, though two of them are recolors. To start with, we have the 99A Battle Tank, which is a new model. If I'm interpreting the information sheet correctly, there are three sheets of three metal sheets, 11 by 21 centimeters wide and tall. There are 223 parts. It is 430 stainless steel. The completed model is about 6.5 by 18.5 by 7 centimeters high and it has a rating of 4 out of 7 stars. So kind of difficult, not too bad. There's also a notation of an adapter box, which I guess is the box size that it comes in because it looks like these particular models have unique packaging. It's a little different from what Peace Cool had been doing. Now whether or not this is just because these are special models, kind of like I think they did something similar with the marriage models or whether they're changing their design or going to go back to the old model boxes. I don't know. Interesting that they put adapter box in the description. Next up we have the J20 Jet. It is three sheets that are 11 by 21 centimeters, 87 pieces, finished size 15 by 5, 15.5 by 11 by 8.5 centimeters, three out of seven stars, so not quite as difficult as the battle tank and this one is a recolor and I would have this one would have slipped by me if it wasn't for code wookie but they've got a civil model of this and now they've colored it in and got a colored version of it. Next up we have the Tiananmen Rostrum which has four metal sheets 11 by 21 centimeters 297 parts this one according to the information sheet is made of brass Finished model is 15.5 by 10.5 by 7.3 centimeters, and this one has a 3 out of 7 star, so it doesn't look to be very difficult a model. And last but not least, we have the Plan Leung, Leunging CV-16 aircraft carrier. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm terrible at pronunciations. I do apologize if I've got it wrong. This one has two sheets at 11 by 21 centimeters, 142 pieces. This is 430 stainless steel and completed model is 20 by 5 by 5 centimeters and this one has a 5 out of 7 stars so a little bit more difficult this one is also 
one that was previous rele previously released in silver, which now has color. I think it makes it look a little more interesting. There's, there's a lot of talk about whether or not people like the colored models versus the non-colored models. I think with some of these aircrafts and military models, subtle color adds a lot to it. But anyway, those are the four new models that are supposed to be coming out this month. But I'll tell you right now, looking around at all the websites that I normally look at, I've not seen it for sale anywhere. Probably will be in the next few days. And that's really all there is new in Metal Earth models this week. Nothing new showing up on AliExpress or any of the other shops that I tend to look at. That brings us to this week's question of the week and a question that was asked, I believe it was last week's video that I wanted to cover today from Sonic Alpha. And simple question, do you have any go-to, something you'd always pick or recommend, kits for people wanting to do their first Metal Earth project? And I do get that question quite a bit. And what I normally try to do is try to find out a little bit about the person, what their interests are, what their skill level is. Here we have, you know, very first Metal Earth kit. Some people have experience working with metal or working with models before, so I might be more likely to, to suggest something in the medium range than simple range. I will say right off the bat that oftentimes I recommend people to a playlist that I have. I have a YouTube playlist for beginner models, Metal Earth models. And it has a lot of the very easy models that I have done that will introduce you into the hobby. So I'm kind of beating around the bush, but probably the, one, probably the easiest model, and the first one on this list, because I built the list in easiest to hardest beginning models. So you start with something super simple and work your way up a little bit. But the, the top one is the Washington Monument. Very easy. It is just, I think, three parts, if I remember correctly. Super, super easy. Gives you a quick idea. Then we have the One World Trade Center. A little bit more complicated, but still very easy. The butterflies are a great one to start with. I'm actually holding classes on the butterflies through my local library. I've held one class. I've got another one coming up here pretty soon. Planning a third one in the works. But the, the butterflies give you a choice of whichever one you want to put together. And they're just folding some tabs, a few sides, and they come together. So... They're very easy, pretty simple to understand, but do have a slight challenge element to it. I did build my list in a way so that if you were to follow that list, you kind of build skills as you go along. Then you get into things like Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, the Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building, the Ferris Wheel. They are more complex builds, but still very much on the easier side of things. If somebody has some skill level or I feel that they would catch on pretty quickly and I knew they were into something like Star Wars, I might suggest something like the Millennium Falcon. It is somewhat challenging model, but the original Millennium Falcon was the one that I started with, the ATST Walker. They do have some challenges in them, but they're pretty easy to catch on to and get them right the first time. And the idea being is if you're into Star Wars, this is going to keep your interest so that if you run into something that is a little challenging you're not just going to throw it to the side you're going to be like well this is something i like i want to keep going and that makes a huge difference just like if you were to try to teach a child if you were encouraging them to learn to read you would want to encourage them with something that they're interested in comic books are a great tool for learning to read because they have words in them and they'll keep their interest in a similar fashion finding something you're interested in if somebody's interested in marvel models i might suggest captain america shield is the easiest of the bunch if someone was interested in Halo models, I'm not sure what I would recommend. A lot of those models tend to be kind of challenging, but you get the idea. Uh, de very, depending on your interest, I may suggest something a little bit different. But I have that playlist, some super, super easy models to get your feet with, and those are a good place to start. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description down below. So Sonic Alpha, I hope that answers your question. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll either get back to you directly through the comments or if it's a really interesting question that I want to cover on my next 3D Metal Model News video, I might save it for then. And that brings us to the end of this week's news. As always, thank you for watching. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel so that I can bring you these videos, these news videos, build videos, so on and so forth. I'm working on the Imperial Star Destroyer right now, hoping to have that out earlier next week and another few viewer requests that are in the works. I'll leave it at that. As always, thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.